Hello, it's Mark Matosh with Cheer for Markham3D.com, and today we're going to be talking about the text editor. So to start off, I'm just going to delete that default queue by pressing D. I'm going to add in some text. I'm going to do Shift A to add text. Beautiful. I've got a little bit of text here. Now I'm going to press Tab to go into edit mode, and now I can type in whatever I want. Um, and you know we can just keep typing enter and it's kind of you know you can write up a document if you really want to but I wouldn't press tab to go into object mode and now we can do a whole bunch of funky things over here on the right hand side let's select object data and we can turn um, change the resolution preview just like a curve so if we kind of zoom in here let's just go down to one and you can kind of see the curve it's very jagged but obviously the more we bump it up the smoother that curve. If we go to fill mode, which is fine, um, let's go down to geometry. Now from what here we can do is we can extrude it so it goes thicker, offset, which kind of uh, makes the letters bigger, it's kind of like scaling the normals by pressing Alt S, whoops, put that back on zero. We can bevel our extrude so if I just put it like here, you can see that now we've got a little bit of a bevel. Resolution, just the resolution of the bevel. So how many times, like when you do a loop cut or you do control B for the bevel and mouse wheel, that's what the resolution is there. And we can also do some funky stuff with the fonts. So from here, we can choose any font that we've got. You just simply click open, go to wherever you need to and open up that font file. So you can have a separate font directory to Microsoft Word or whatever. But we come down here, we can do some wonderful things with transformation. So I'm just gonna press numpad seven to go into top view, shift A, and I'm going to add in a Bezier curve. Curve, Bezier. So let's just move this around a little bit, scale that up. I'm going to right click on my text, object font, sorry, text on curve, and I'm gonna select the Bezier curve, and now we can kind of, you know, do this kind of stuff. So it conforms to the curve. That's pretty cool. So it's, you know, there's something very simple to do. Now there's one problem I think just hasn't been implemented yet, because obviously we're still in Blender 2.8 beta, but if you want to set this as a mesh, because at the moment, technically, the font is a curve. Um, what you need to do is you need to select the text, object, convert to mesh from curve meta serve text. So we need to make a mesh. However, this isn't working properly. So for instance, it won't keep our curve settings, um, but I press mesh and it goes to default. Uh, so it goes back to without the mesh. I press tab and now it's a 3D model. So now we can start manipulating it however we want. G, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And so that is how you use the text editor in Blender 2.8. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. New content's coming out two, three times a week. Thank you.